Miracles Today with David E. Taylor. The greatest movement to ever hit the earth is now here. The Father God and Jesus His Son coming down on the earth and appearing notably in the sight of millions working with David E. Taylor in the 21st century like they did in biblical times as captured on the news. The hand of God looked like an outstretched hand. It looked like a face appeared in the clouds. This is incredible. This is the ancient biblical ministry of face to face that hasn't been seen since the days of Moses and Jesus Christ, causing deliverance on a massive scale. It all started when David E. Taylor was just 17 years old, living a riotous life as a gangster. The Lord Jesus appeared to him, and from there, it mushroomed into a global movement and ministry that is now changing the world. It's not a revival, it's a revolution. A new revolution of unprecedented signs and wonders that has not been seen since biblical days. Experience the miracles. In Jesus' name, put those legs up and down. What is impossible with men is possible with God today. Satan has lost his grip over this region. This is her cane. I was very skeptical. What happened? I'd had so much pain in my body for 50 years from arthritis. And all the pain left? Yes. wheelchair for a full year. This is your first time getting out of the wheelchair like this in a year. Yeah. He couldn't do this. No. She had a lump on her neck. I had a lump and it's gone. It's completely gone. I don't feel nothing. It's gone. People give the Lord a shot of praise. This young man was in a wheelchair. Doctor says he cannot walk on his heels. He broke what happened. God. He's walking. You at one time didn't believe in God. Yes, I did. I used to curse God. God, I will obey from this point on anything you say. God, it is God. There is a God. If you came in here with a cane or crutch or cancer, you're going to leave without it. And he could not walk on an amputee. Yes. And Jesus gave you a miracle. Yes. And he's not walking. He's had a tumor in the back of her head. Said, Mommy, it's gone. It's not there no more. Jesus, thank you so much. I don't know what just happened to me, but it felt so good. Face to face. Miracles. Today. Join us now for the Face to Face Miracles Today broadcast with David E. Taylor that has started a revolution in America and around the world. The greatest revelation known to mankind. What if you could have the ancient biblical powers of old lost for thousands of years. The key has been found to bring the ancient powers back to the 21st century. Extending time, time traveling, powers of ascension into heaven and descension into hell, supernatural powers of walking on top of water, commanding storms to obey you like Jesus did. Walking in the ancient glory of shadow powers just like Peter did. Healing many with his shadow. Raising the dead. Invisibility. Dominion and mastery over fire, wind, earth, time, space and water. The power of multiplication. The release of God's healing power through cloths. Resurrection power. It's not just raising the dead. It is to be supernaturally raised up like Paul declared in Philippines. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That same resurrection power he also talked about in Ephesians, saying, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. In this dynamic revelation, you will learn that when Jesus rose off the ground in mid-air, in front of his disciples, it wasn't what people cheaply call levitation. Rather, in the kingdom, 
God calls it His resurrection power. This marvelous power has been demonstrated in this generation, even with preachers in our time, like with the little boy Davy Walker, rising off the ground during the voice of healing revival. Amazing! This is just the beginning. There is a rich inheritance through a spiritual DNA that you can have. Through his trip to heaven, the Lord revealed to David E. Taylor this ancient revelation, now given to our generation. In his premier visitation to heaven, the Lord allowed him to speak to Catherine Coleman and Smith Wigglesworth, as well as other great generals of the faith like Bishop C.H. Mason. Hear what Jesus allowed them to tell David E. Taylor that has now birthed this landmark, milestone, revolutionary breakthrough in the 21st century. The Lord told Apostle Taylor that it was now time for him to release this revelation globally. The message has the power to revive a backslidden church into the revived, restored, and glorified state that God has destined it to be. This is the 100% biblically guaranteed way for you to truly come into the fullness of your identity, calling, and destiny. Inheritance by Lineage In Episode 1 of Inheritance by Lineage with David E. Taylor, you received an impartation to have trips to heaven and have now begun to learn who God has called you to be. In this week's broadcast, you will see how David E. Taylor began to come into the inheritance of the powerful Miracle Healing Ministry. Hear what the Lord allowed Catherine Coleman to speak to him in his premier trip to heaven concerning his destiny in the Healing Miracle Ministry and how he began to tap into the same unspeakable power of God that was on Catherine Coleman's life. David E. Taylor will show how you too can walk in the same ancient power of God and how you can discover your destiny. This is a special series concerning David E. Taylor's trip to heaven and what Jesus told him face to face concerning your destiny. Today he presents to you part two of Inheritance by Lineage. I ran over there to Catherine Kuhlman on the bridge of life, over that bridge of life. And when I walked up to her, she smiled at me. She had that red hair she had, she's always had. And then she says, hi, David. That's what she said. I was like, how do you know me? She says, everybody in heaven knows you because you talk about Jesus so much on earth. You have been one of the foremost people upon the earth that has went after the relationship and has expanded his name. And so I looked at her, I said, you know, when I was 19 years old, the father gave me a dream about you. She says, I know. She already knew the dream I had about her. When I was, na when I was 19 years old, I was taken in the past. How many know God can transport you in the past? When Moses asked to see the glory of God, he says, I'll let you see my back parts. He didn't just see God physically. When God's physical back passed by, he saw everywhere God had been. That's why he could write Genesis. Y'all not talking to me. <laughs> How could he write about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Moses went back there. And you don't hear a time when he took him into the mountain like he did for the tabernacle when he took him into the mountain to talk to him about the tabernacle he says see that you make the tabernacle like this and God gave him details but you never hear where God had a visitation with Moses and said let me tell you about the first man and how it all started he never did that he saw it in a glimpse when God passed by in this last hour God is going to be translating us to the past and into the future John on the Isle of Patmos saw the new heaven. He says, I was taken in the spirit and forward ahead and I saw the new Jerusalem. 
So don't just let the television shows tell you that that's just for the world. No, that's for the church. All witchcraft is is a journey come lately. Do you understand that? Anything they do, God has already done. So don't be afraid of them when they lift up off the ground, turning the snakes. To, let me tell you something. All of that stuff Satan can do, do you know where he got it from? God didn't take all his power from him. So when people see people, what they call levitate off the ground, do you understand? That's part of heaven, floating off the ground. You can find that in the second heavens. Go into space, you'll just start floating. Y'all missed that one. That was revelation. You want to know why in outer space they start floating? Because it's heaven. They're already levitating. They just know the scientific explanation that there's no gravity holding them down. <laughs> anyway. And all the revelation of gravity is is that unlimitation. Because if something is holding you down, it's limiting you. Oh, y'all missed that. Anyway, maybe I won't talk about the deep things of God because maybe y'all don't want the deep things of God today. Do you want it? I can't hear you. Do you not know in order for you to be saved, you have to be translated into the kingdom of God. Listen to me. The miracle of translation had to happen when you got saved. Bible says we've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. You can't even get into the kingdom unless you have a supernatural translation. It happened during your salvation but most preachers don't preach about it because they don't know. They just read the scripture verbatim. We were just translated into the kingdom. Of, no, no. There was an actual translation that took place. You can't go from one kingdom to the next like this spiritual kingdoms by natural transport there has to be a supernatural traveling system hallelujah so he translates you to the past and he can translate you to the future and so I was telling Catherine Kudum I said I saw the dream about your ministry you're dead but I saw I was translated to the past she says I know about it for, to bring you up to speed when I was 19 years old God started showing me dreams of how he wanted to use me at the stage I was at it wasn't to stay there it was at the stage and the exposure I had and in this dream I am in an arena Coliseum and Catherine Kuderman is on the stage in a white robe and I'm all the way up in the nosebleed section there's about 30,000 people there and she's doing a service and I'm looking at this I, I enter it looking at it thousands of people all around the arena and I'm way up and up high and all of a sudden I am telling you this is the truth all of a sudden electricity came in her service from heaven I saw it blue electricity and it sounded like this and it spread throughout the whole building it came from the throne of the father I saw that thing. I saw it in a dream at 19. And immediately when God took over the service, when he came in, she had no control. The service was completely taken over. And all of a sudden, this man that was in a wheelchair, he was twisted, he had a catheter. And when that electricity came, God started moving his wheelchair supernaturally back and forth. The whole auditorium looked but before they did when the electricity hit the room all of us made a deep sound when we saw God's electricity come from heaven from the throne it was blue and we all say Ooh. we all said it together it was a deep groaning then all of a sudden that wheelchair thing started happening and then this man who was twisted when I would wake up from this dream later on, I would find out it was true. This was a paratrooper who fell out of a plane. His parachute didn't work. He hit the ground hard, broke everything. He lived, but he broke everything. Messed up. That's how I know God also want to heal our veterans. Yeah. I 
I saw this man in the dream. He untwisted. The glory of God just hit him. He untwisted. She didn't come off stage. Pray for him. That's the presence of God there. And that's what's going to happen to some of you on your wheelchairs tonight. Who came in here with a crutch or a cane tonight? Who came in here with disease tonight? This is how God started vetting me as a young teenager, teaching me about the healing ministry. On a higher order than just laying hands. Working with God personally where he takes over our service and he don't need your gift or anointing as much. untwisted out of the wheelchair and he jumped up out of the wheelchair and could walk and then at the end of a dream a big hand from heaven came it was Jehovah's hand and it came with one finger like this how many remember that same finger wrote the Ten Commandments that same finger Jesus spoke about that cast out devils as if I with the finger of God cast out devils you understand God's finger the father's finger is involved in ministry oh y'all to get that later he don't just use his hand he also uses finger I saw this big hand come and his finger said and wrote in cursive letters this is your day to do what she's doing. That's what happened. I, I was in that dream. Let me tell you what happened. I was staying with the pastor who let me in his house because I had just walked away from everything, my career, everything to serve the Lord in Charleston, South Carolina. I was laying on this couch when I was having this dream. He comes and wake me up in the middle of this thing happening. He wakes me up. He says, get up. This is in 1992. I, I'll never forget this. I was 19 years old in 1992 when this happened. <clears throat> he wakes me up and said, get up, come, on, come and watch Pastor Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn is on. I was so mad, but he knew I loved Pastor Benny's shows because of the miracle ministry. And, but I was so mad at him. I said, why are you waking me up? I was just in a crusade. I was so mad at him, but that was the Holy Ghost. He woke me up. He says, come and watch him. It was about 12.30 at night when he would come on in 1992. I'll never forget this. When I went and sat on the edge of his bed, I said, okay, and, and looked, at, looked at it. Benny Hinn was calling Joan Geeson up, the woman who used to work with Catherine Kudum that had the white hair. She lives in St. Louis. He was calling her on the stage and said, he was saying, uh, listen, Joan, come and tell us about that service Catherine Kudelman had where the electricity came from heaven and the man got out of the wheelchair. I jumped up off the bed and said, I just saw this. That's how it started. And all of a sudden, she started telling everything I had just seen. I knew I had been transported to the past. She talked about how when the electricity came, just like I said, and I saw in the whole room just said, Ooh. I said, I, I saw all of that. He was a paratrooper. It was a real story. And so for many years, I said, I'll pay the price to see God use me like that. Where people get out of wheelchairs and it happened in about three years of paying the price. But the thing from heaven that came from the Father's throne, that electricity would never happen in my services. And I always had a question about that. I said, how do I get this thing? How do I get that thing she had with that glory just come in her service, that electricity, that blue electricity? When I told this story in Washington State, a beautiful couple, an old couple, about in their 80s, Irish couple, came to me and said, David, we were in Catherine's services and we captured a picture of the blue electricity. We're going to bring it to you and let you have it. This is the picture right here. Do you see that blue electricity? It didn't just happen one time, 
it happened multiple times in her ministry when I was in heaven I always wanted to ask her how do I get that kind of glory in a service where God's blue lightning come since then we've seen it it's been openly done I mean just multiple times I mean one night in Chicago Jesus come to me in the bathroom he says the blue electricity is coming tonight you ought to tell the people he says in 45 minutes after that it's going to happen he says a lot of them are going to get afraid because it's going to knock out all the TV lights and bust the lights and the glass is going to shatter over them it happened in Chicago now I'm getting ahead of myself I'm just telling you I gained it years later but but they told me about this and I was telling the story and so my purpose for going up to Catherine was saying how did you get God's presence how did you get that electricity from behind God's throne because it says out of the throne proceeded what lightnings and what else thunders so it's a manifestation of Jehovah lift your hands I feel the Holy Ghost Lift those hands in the Holy Ghost. Ask Him. Ask Him to touch you. Ask Him to open your mind to hear revelation. Come on. You may put your hands down now. So I asked her, I said, I said, how did, and she told me, and her eyes got firm and they turned into like, like a strong mother would say to me very serious and she said number one don't ever quit preaching the word and I was like okay I know that but a lot of signs and wonders ministers don't know that signs and wonders follow the word that's why it's important that I preach the word to you tonight because the more the word is preached the stronger the signs and wonders are gonna get but I realized after I came from that trip she's right signs and wonders follow the word the word don't follow signs and wonders then the next thing she said I had never heard of and she says don't ever desecrate I had never heard that you know Catherine when she was here on earth she talked about paying the price and dying to self dying to the flesh crucifying self which I put together years later but I didn't know what the word desecration meant so when I got back I started asking elders I started looking the word up and it always deals with the grave site when people use it they said you're desecrating a grave in other words, desecrating a grave is to treat a death irreverently. Oh, y'all not hearing me. She was basically saying to me, once you die, don't go mess up the grave. Don't go dig yourself up again. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Too many ministers resurface. They don't stay behind the cross. They don't stay dead. desecrate if you want that kind of glory it's reverential glory you can't be alive with that you got to be dead while you're walking you must die to self Paul said I die what daily stay dead that process only happens if you die daily it ain't a one-time thing for all time although when you die for the first time you remember the very place the very hour and location but it's a continual lifestyle do you really want to know what death is my friends it's surrender it's being able to get up here and say this is not my time this is your time and also our death in the spirit happens when you're on your knees in prayer the longer you pray the deader you become prayer 
which this age has forgotten about prayer spending time in God's presence you think I just walk out here with this kind of glory without any kind of prayer no I've also built up for years spending time with God and then everything just start overlapping and accelerating the more you do it lift your hands and say Lord help me to die to self come on pray say help me to die to self say it she says don't desecrate in other words don't stop dying don't ever treat death process irreverently lift your hands and say Lord help me when I came from heaven and she told me that and I got that answer the blue electricity started coming in my service it was seen in front of everybody multiple times I was in Atlanta a few years ago it happened a few years ago and the bishop of that church invited me down there and they dreamed they said I dreamed that on the Friday night you were here electricity came in the service they had never heard about this I never told them they said what do this mean why why electricity came in the service was that spiritual I said no I said on Friday night and I told her this story I said the, the power from behind the throne is coming in that service and on Friday night it did it was seen in front of everyone and it knocked the power out for three miles radius tune in for the continuation of this dynamic revelation with David E Taylor David E Taylor will show how you too can walk in the same ancient power of God including the blue electric lightning power of Jehovah that manifested in Catherine's services. Get the Inheritance by Lineage book for a love gift of $25. You'll also receive a free bonus, the Inheritance by Lineage folder, with rich DNA charts that will lead you to discover your lineage. Get the School of Inheritance by Lineage CD series. You'll also receive a special free bonus, the Inheritance by Lineage book and full color folder. We are starting a university based off what Jesus told me in heaven. Enroll today, absolutely free, in the Inheritance by Lineage Mentorship Program and University with David E. Taylor. one the glory. It was during the Christmas season. I was 17 years old when it first happened. Jesus appeared to me in a dream and it changed my life forever. And he told me if I wrote this in a book that he would appear to millions all over the world. And it's happening now. I literally felt Jesus touch me. He came to me and delivered me I was that brought night. up as a Hindu. I began reading the book. I had my first encounter with the Lord. I was born Muslim and I read the book Jesus appeared to us. Just like the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, Jesus will appear to you in your dreams. Jesus appearing to David E. Taylor. Birth a global miracle ministry. And God the Father coming down on earth. Working with David E. Taylor, just like he prophesied. Resulting in the massive deliverance of children from human slave trafficking. When you read this book, Jesus promises to visit you. Your intimacy will deepen. The face-to-face -face book retails for $20. But call now and David E. Taylor will send you your copy free. one 877 the glory. I want to see all the people who have come here from different nations and you flow from overseas. Stand on your feet. Look at this. Tell us where you're from. From Israel. Israel. Jamaica. Jamaica is here. Kenya. Kenya. Portugal. Portugal is here. Wow. Kuwait, Middle East. Kuwait is here. South Korea. South Korea is here. Come on, give South Korea a great big God bless you. Japan. Japan. Come on, give Japan. And all of them are from Japan too. Onichiwa. Onichiwa. <laughs> Indonesia. Indonesia. You're going to take something major back to Indonesia. I hear the Lord say face to face. Amen. You're going to take face to face back to Indonesia. Uganda. Uganda. Belgium. Belgium. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Victoria, Canada. Victoria, Canada. Sydney, Australia. Yeah. I like that lady. Albania. Albania. Oh, Ecuador. Ecuador, yes! Paraguay. From Paraguay. Come on, give Paraguay a great big God bless you. London, England. London, England is in the house. Public of Liberia. 
from Africa. From Liberia. Come on, give Africa a great big God bless you. Estonia. Estonia. New Zealand. New Zealand is in the house. Wow. Now give the Lord a shout of praise. You too can experience the supernatural miracles of God in every area of your life, just like millions of others. Call in now to the 24-7 Supernatural Prayer Line where miracles happen every day. Receive your prophetic word, a free dream interpretation, prayer for healing, and your free anointed prayer cloth. Order the premier best-selling book by David E. Taylor, Face-to-Face Appearances from Jesus, along with his world-renowned sequel, My Trip to Heaven, Face-to-Face with Jesus. Connect and follow David E. Taylor on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Livestream. For updated itinerary, events, and for more information, visit joshuamediaministries.org.